Mr. Sakyandi. Mr. Speaker, the starting age for skills which you credit is 25 years old, as it is the age where many Singaporeans would have completed their full-time education and are in or preparing to join the workforce. Singaporeans under 25 years old can use their post-secondary education accounts, in short, PSEAs, to defray out-of-pocket fees for approved programs. More importantly, beyond the Skills Future Credit, Singaporeans have access to a wide range of measures to support their skills development. There are subsidies of up to 97% of course fee for various training programs, such as the part-time higher NITEC module, which could cost as low as $40 after all the subsidies. ITE graduates who wish to enhance their employability or seek employment assistance can receive help from the ITE Career Services Centre or any of the Workforce Singapore Career Centres. Mr. Sakyandi. Answer. Just one quick question. Um, the age of 25, uh, I suppose it was introduced because it um, sort of meets with the graduation for most uh, university graduates and post -gra uh, tertiary graduates. But for IT graduates, when they graduate after 25, 21, you mentioned that there are higher NITEC uh, sort of grants and subsidies that's provided. Will, they, will MOE actually consider to actually have some leeway for IT students? after they graduate, for, especially for those that are actually graduating, trying to look for jobs, uh, trying to utilize their skills future credit to look, utilize some of this skills future credit direct immediately uh, so that they can upskill themselves uh, going forward. Uh, thank you. Well, Mr. Satyandi Supat uh, for his supplementary questions. I think I will highlight four key points to give him assurance that our IT graduates uh, will have the support to gain access to courses even after they graduate from IT. The first one is they have a range of options they can choose from to gain access to courses to support skills development and also employability. I'll give you one quick example and that is the recently launched ITE Work Learn Technical Diploma. This is essentially a, an apprenticeship based uh, program that will allow our ITE graduates to pursue a diploma even as they work. And um, it is designed to enhance our IT graduates' employability uh, because it, we have structured such that it has a very strong on-the-job component. 70% of the curriculum is based on on-the-job component. And it really allows our IT graduates uh, not just to learn and gain industry-relevant skills, but also to gain deep understanding of the company and also the sector. I want to assure the member that um, even after our IT graduate leave ITE, maybe after taking NITEC, and working for a couple of years and they're still young, they want to come back and take NITEC again or higher NITEC, they will receive the support heavily subsidized. And if their family is facing financial difficulties, they will, we can work with them to look at how uh, they can pay the cost over a longer period of time through installment. So that's the second key point. Now, um, the IT graduates, if they are under the age of 25 years old, I briefly talk about the PSEAs. Now, the, bal the average balances in the PSEAs uh, is fairly substantial. I want to give assurance to Mr. Satyandi Supat that uh, they can use the funds available in the PSEAs and the PSEAs can be utilized for approved causes that's provided by a wide range of IHLs or even public agencies and also private training providers. Mr. Satyandi. Thank you, SPS. Just want to uh, find out a bit more. Are the PSEAs... Uh, slew of uh, curriculum courses similar to the skills future courses that's been provided or, uh, or is it smaller subset of the skills future range of courses the skills future credit uh, directory currently have now currently has about more than 18000 courses uh, modular and they are quite short term um, for the courses the approved courses under PSEAs it can range from the wide ranging courses in our IHLs that means um, our ITE, our polys, even AUs, as well as public agencies and also private training provider. They are just as substantial as well.